Euro continues to consolidate. Before we start, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by XNest, the world's leading retail brokerage firm offering ultra-fast execution and no overnight fees. Look for a link in the description below. The Euro has somewhat been fairly noisy during the early hours on Monday as we continue to look at the 1.09 level. The 1.09 level, of course, is a large, round, psychologically significant figure, and therefore a lot of people will be paying close attention to it. With that being said, I think you also have to keep in mind this is a market that has been simply going back and forth from one round figure to the next, so... The action really isn't that surprising. We got through the ECB. We now have to determine whether or not the Federal Reserve is likely to cut rates. At this point, it doesn't necessarily seem like a slam dunk, if you will. There might be a rate cut between now and the end of the year, but a 25 basis point rate cut basically just gets us to where we were know, about a month ago. So with that being said, I think you continue to see a lot of choppy sideways action in a market that, quite frankly, is probably better thought of as an indicator of U.S. dollar strength of weakness. The strength or weakness in the United States dollar is quite often profoundly seen here and then can be translated into other markets, for example, maybe against the Canadian dollar or the British pound. So with all of that being said, if we break down below the 1.0850 level, then we more likely than not go down to the 1.08 level. If we can break above the 1.0920 level, then it's possible that we go to the 1.10 level. All things being equal, I'm fairly neutral and ambivalent about this pair. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.